What's going on, folks? Uh, Salty here. We're talking movies. A random movie on Netflix that Dutch Butters picked. Yeah. Did I pick this one? This yeah, is a random this, ass movie. This is like a Jude pick. It feels like a Jude that pick. I picked. That you picked. I think you picked yeah. it for Jude. I might have. You, you were said, like, ooh, vampires. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, you like vampires. I mean, I did I pick that... Um, I picked that, that shark movie that under Paris or whatever yeah. it was. Which I was want, another good pick. Which was another good that pick. That was another good Jude pick. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm just about to the point where uh, I think I'm going to veto anything that's on Netflix. <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? <laughs> I've imbued you all with enough estrogen you're not picking for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jude will like this one. Love that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're watching, uh, we're talking about Dampier. 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 It's just a random pick that we yeah. saw and we were like, well, let's check it out. See if it's worth it. it. Italian movie. Is it an Italian movie? It's an Italian okay. movie. That's why I didn't recognize it. English language, Italian fantasy horror film. Great. According to the three sentences in Wikipedia. Is Wikipedia? Yeah. What is it? What does Netflix say it is? <clears throat> um, Netflix is like, no. don't watch this one. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Also, Kadish is here. Kadish is here. Judas here. Kadish is here. Everybody's here. We're all here. What's up, Kadish? How you doing, buddy? Uh, I fell asleep towards the end of this movie, <laughs> so I don't know how it ends. But um, we'll tell you. Oh, yeah, it, you're gonna, that's the best part. Yeah, the the parts I did watch were pretty terrible. So <laughs> I don't feel like I missed anything. How dare you? <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> Let me tell you what it's Yeah, about. go ahead. All right. All right. 2022, Dampier. Rated R with a runtime of one hour, 49 minutes. This had a budget of 15 million euros. Oh, good for it. Euros? Okay. Yeah. And it had a box office bring home of 362,000, I think, euros. Okay. <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah. Um, $15 million? Yeah. That's not good. Not good at all. Actually, probably more than that since we're doing euro to dollar conversion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Fifteen million for this movie. I mean, I guess. Sure. That's what it made, or that's what it. No, that's cost. what it cost. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't. Where did I, where did that go? Special, I swear to God, effects. money making or all or uh, movie making is just a, a freaking laundering scheme. So how, yeah. how do you launder money? They had make to pay a, each a movie. of those movie. extras a euro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Let me tell you what it's about. Okay. Right. In an unbelievable twist no one this side of the Balkan War saw coming, the man who was pretending to be a wildly specific creature turns out to be that specific creature. Harlan, a 30-year-old who's never once scraped his knee or cut himself shaving, is a con man working the old Dampier gambit. <laughs> and when some locals hire him to deal with all their goddamn vampires, he learns he has extra abilities only a Dampier could have. Good thing he's been pretending to be one, so he's ready to go to war against the master of the night. He just has to embrace the power eventually. After they turn his best friend and kill a bunch of the townspeople. Discuss. Yeah. Uh I got like Brothers Grimm vibe out of yeah. this when the beginning of it is like they're just faking their way through like, oh, we'll take care of those vampires for you. Uh -huh. And then they they dig up a grave. Yeah. They're making they, them desecrate corpses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, well, your vampires take care of now, guys. It's all good. He was over there like saying, saying like uh, Honey Nut Cheerios, like <laughs> yeah. theme songs so, or whatever to get the vampire to go away. Mm -hmm. here's, here's the thing I don't understand about this character. Uh -huh. Okay. So the movie opens up with Dracula. Sure. Trying to get to this house across this chasm chasm but there's these three witches in there and and there's another woman and they're giving birth sure who dracula has impregnated okay so uh, she's immortal and as you do right so the three witches are up <laughs> you know they're doing all their thing <laughs> the three brides the three yeah right 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 and um the baby's born and they put some magic wall up and they're going oh fuck you, Dracula, we're going to raise this kid, and, you know, and they put a curse on him or something. Uh -huh. And then it's like 300 years later. It's the 90s. Not not the beginning Nin of the movie. 1992. Is that what it said? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I Wasn't it? it? Didn't it say 1992? Because I, I, I don't thought, remember. I, I, I thought it was like back in the olden days or something. <laughs> That's what I thought too. But I'm like, but I, then this kid, but then the next thing they flash forward and this dude's running around with his, with his friend and um, you, uh, they're doing this scam, and he does, he's he's acting like he has no idea who or what he is. Yeah, but yet he was raised by these three witches in the cabin, out in the middle of nowhere, of the woods. And I went through this whole movie thinking this guy was like five hundred years old. 
don't get and it. also that house at the beginning that was not a 1990s modern house no. that was, it, was, it was a wooden log cabin right and uh and dracula was riding a horse as right. fast as exactly. it could go 1992. No, but that was when that was when that's they, when he's older, right? Yeah, that's when he's older. That's but when he's working the gambit. The, the very beginning of the movie, when they when they set everything up, uh -huh. Dracula's going through the forest and on his horse. Yeah, yeah. When, when he's being born. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like the 1422 yeah. or something. So maybe okay. so maybe he's got like some some. Did they put a memory spell on powers? Him? You know, like the Fae are immortal. Maybe he is also immortal or and he ages really slow. maybe the filmmakers didn't think about it. <laughs> or that. Well, I'm, not, I'm not crazy, also right? That. I'm not crazy, yeah, Matt. Because I'm watching this movie and I can't tell if it's like 1700s Bolivia. But, well, it was or set, whatever. set during the Bosnian War. Right? Yeah. Balkan right. War. Balkan, right, right, Balkan right. War? Yeah. Okay. And, or, or if it's post-apocalyptic 1992. No. no it's not that no, either? No. There's all these. I'm so confused. There's all these backwater <laughs> Balkans you still believe in vampires, apparently. Okay. Yeah. So I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. You're gonna come get these vampires out of our village. <laughs> okay. <laughs> be gone, evil beast. But they're all dressed like they still live in the 1700s. Well, that's what people in the Balkans <laughs> is, dress like. Is that have you, you never been to Bratislava? If you, no. <laughs> if you go to Transylvania, it's like going back to 1492. I guess I gotta go. As soon as you go across it's the border. It's good right? you come in summer. <laughs> <laughs> In winter, it gets you very like, depressing. You know, like sausage? <laughs> I make go, 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 I go cut goat to make sausage for you. It's like, the train is coming soon. <laughs> they are building it now. And then, and then you're like, then you go, God damn, gypsies everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I was very confused by the premise of this. You movie. want to buy a ring? Gold because, plated. Like you said, like a gold plated. Because like you said, he acted like he didn't know who he was. But he's playing a character that he is. Yeah. But he's like, I don't really want to. I don't dig on this stuff, man. I don't believe all this nonsense. All that all, hooey. All this horse shit. Yeah. It's fine. Well, uh, Dompiers or Dom Dompires, however you want to pronounce it, they're actually part of like vampire lord. Oh, really? I never heard of these things before. No, no, Are no. you serious? No. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Um, so, like, uh, basically, what it is is it's it's a human vampire hybrid. Right. Like, so, a vampire has sex with a human and creates an offspring. It, it, it's usually like a male vampire that has sex with a human female. And burst like an actual like person who okay. has some of the strength of the vampire and none of the weaknesses. So it's Blade. Yeah, it's Blade. Yeah, it's well, Blade. Well, well, that that's what Blade was based off yeah. of is okay. this legend of the, the, the Dom, Dompier. Yeah. yeah. So like uh, Dompiers can like walk out during the day and they have like certain powers of vampires, uh, depending on like what powers they inherited from their sire. Um, but uh, the idea here is that Dom Dompiers are natural vampire hunters because. They have the enhanced strength and, and magic powers with, to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe to them with them. Mm -hmm. But they also have the advantages of being part human, so like they can go out during the day and do all this other stuff. So that's kind of what the basis of the movie was about. And they about. don't have to drink the blood. But they can. Mm -hmm. And it, it helps them out just like it helps like vampires, but not to like a super extent. How do you guys feel about the vampires in this movie? Like oh, as, they were on a scale of, of like... 30 days of night to twilight. Where do these vampires I land? I kept thinking that the main <clears throat> bad guy was his dad for most of the movie. And then I got to the end of the movie and I was like, oh, that's his dad. Hmm. I kind of, I kind of felt like they were all kind of goofy and weird. And they all, you know, I, I, I would have no problem putting this in the true blood universe. Sure. Okay. You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 So they're softball. Are they, I feel like yeah. they were a little bit of softball yeah. vampires. Yeah. I did like the like extra long claws that they had, though. Yeah, that was Pretty a little cool. weird. Like, Got to make it a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. From other vampires. I, mean, I mean, like these vampires could take an entire clip of an AK-47 yeah. and just like shrug it off. Like, yeah. They, they were pretty indestructible. Right. Well, yeah. We, there's only certain ways you can kill a vampire, right? Mm -hmm. You have to stick at the heart. Cut uh, their head off. Cross. Cut their head off. Something to do with silver. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, unless you have silver bullets. But, but the interesting thing about this movie is that... Uh, the main character, the Dompire, if you will. So, wow. like, like, like his blood, his <laughs> laying it on thick. <laughs> his blood acted as like um, acid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. To the he vampires. had that superpower too. Yeah. So, like, if they try, like, if he bled on them, or oh no, it was, just, to, it was just his hand. He just had to hang onto their face, right? And well, no, he was bleeding. He had blood oh, on his hand. He was okay. bleeding because yeah. they, they cut him, so they can injure him. But then his. The blood is like poison. Oh, to them. okay. Yeah, for like the last forty-five minutes of the movie, I was like, just go like, yeah, just go yeah. like that. Just like punch your nose and just sneeze on everybody. Yeah. 
<laughs> or, Star Rocket. Star <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> well, well, Wait, what was that movie where he went, where he sneezed or something and he oh, had the little... Uh, upgrade. Oh, upgrade. Yeah. Upgrade. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, no, no, what they did in this movie was like they, they took some of his blood and then like infused it into like a hollow point bullets. Nice. And then like they would shoot the vampires and like the blood infused bullets would actually like kill Ingenious. them. Ingenious. Blood infused bullets. Well, they, I think they took, they took that from blood. Underworld. It's all right? about yeah. the blood. Yeah. A lot of this, not a lot, but Underworld, 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 had, Underworld, had, had, Underworld had sunlight bullets. Yeah, the UV bullets. The UV bullets. I do like a really nice vampire transition, like yeah. when you're pretending to be a human and now you're you're like giving into your like Dude. vampire. I like a I like a good transition. That chick at the beginning, remember? Yeah, where she was like, "Help me!" It was like I got like Skinwalker vibes from her yeah. for a minute, and I was like, "Whoa, this is freaky." Yeah, and then she was like, she looked up, she was all vampired out. And I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah. nice, okay." That always irked me about True Blood that all they did was like they opened their mouth and you had like these little like trick teeth that yeah. came down <laughs> that irked me i was like that's cheesy <laughs> I and like i know it. it's book accurate but uh it always it does it doesn't play well visually yeah. but yeah. like i like a nice transition from human to vampire and like with his friend when they turn his friend mm -hmm. and his friend comes out and, he, and he's like oh i forget what i what he said but you know whatever <laughs> and uh and i was like mm-mm that guy's a vampire. Yeah. That guy's, and then all of a sudden he was like, <laughs> what you guys and he was a vampire. I think what, what always cracks me up is like, you get these people in these movies, like these characters, they're like, oh no, don't throw me in a vampire. Oh, the worst thing ever. And then when they're a vampire, they love it. It's like, oh, this is cool. Oh yeah, it's fucking it's sweet. Like, oh well, yeah, it gets you know, into your like, head. Yeah. You know? Like the, you get drunk on power. You're like, oh, I can do anything. What? That's, that's why I think if I'm going to choose to be something. Vampire? I would, a vampire would be. You wouldn't have any arthritis anymore. No, it'd be great. Live forever. Just live, drink blood. You have a beard down to your belly button. Mm -hmm. You'd just be like, Old Lord Vampire Butters. Old I'd be a succubus. <laughs> Garth Butters. <laughs> a what? Succubus. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> succubus. It, it, it feeds on um, what you think. Okay. Yeah. I just make out with dudes and be like gorgeous and powerful forever. Okay. Fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, a succubus is kind of an energy vampire. So it, it sucks out all like the joy and creativity and stuff like that. And just leaves you an empty shell of a man. Yeah. I mean the guy from What We Do in the Shadows? What's it, what was his name? Oh, Colin, Colin, Colin Robinson. Yeah, Colin Robinson's kinda. the vamp. Yeah, yeah. And Incubus is the male version. Oh, I thought Incubus was a, a, a rock, 90s rock band. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like Incubus. Isn't that like a female demon or something? No, no. Well, that's a succubus. The succubus, succubus is. Same thing? Yeah. Oh, I'm so, okay, I'm educating yeah. myself today. I didn't know all You're this welcome, man. Demonology. I'll show you in the, in the Dungeons and Dragons uh, guide to oh, okay. demons and lore. Great, and yeah, cool. The plural is succubi. <laughs> succubi? Uh -huh. Succubi. Yeah, it's so, true. so true. This, this movie takes place in uh, the Balkans. Yeah. During the Balkan War. Yeah. And um, you can tell Which it, is famously in 1992. Can you say Balkan? <laughs> Balkan. Balkan. Um, but uh, the, the entire cast and crew were obviously Eastern Europeans. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I got the sense that some of the cast was uh, reciting their English lines phonetically like you know they yeah. didn't speak the language and so they were just like taught how to say things and they would say them. look the fact that they're doing it in english and i don't have to read subtitles the entire time i'll give them kudos for that okay yeah. so uh google says that the second balkan war started in 1913 and so then if the rest of this movie started in 1990s it's not 300 years it's still like too no, long this, but uh, it's not as bad they're talking about the war when um it wasn't called the Baltic War. It was when it was the Bosnian and Serbian yeah, that, War that. under Clinton. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right. But uh, but the, the story kind of centers around so like after the setup of you know the Dompire being birthed, the Dompire, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, basically, we're thrust into <laughs> the, the the Bosnian War essentially, and it, it follows this group of like ragtag soldiers mm -hmm. who go to this village that's being basically culled by vampires. Mm -hmm. And so like they realize vampires exist and there's like this one dude there. It's like, I used to know this guy who said he was a dumpire. I need to go <laughs> get him. And so like they go get him from this other village where he's running his like his con and they bring him to like the war zone. The guy's like, I'm not really a dumpire. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not, it's, it's just, it, it's, a, it's a scam. But the, uh, the Serbians don't care. They're, they're like, okay, well, if you're a scammer, go out there and get killed. But if you're real, go out there and kill them. And so like, they kind of like thrust them into like the hornet's nest of vampires. And uh, there's like this big scene at night where like the vampires are kind of toying with him. But then they realize real quick that like, you know, he's actually killing them. And it's not because he's like a badass or anything. It's just because he's bleeding all over. The yeah, place. it's accidental. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, did I? Somebody's gonna have to remind me because it has been a little while since I've seen this movie. Yeah, but. we. So we were supposed to cover this like three weeks ago, <laughs> and then some. Sh- we all had life. Yeah, so. life happened. <laughs> so we we're kind of revisiting it afterwards. But did he ever get to the point where he was actually a badass? Yeah, yeah, he did at the yeah. end of the movie. Yeah, yeah. at the end he, he has, has to bit. kill the main bad guy. Spoiler: <laughs> who is not the bad guy from the beginning of the movie? It's not it's Dracula. There's a different dragon lord. Oh, yeah. Or dragon not, lord. He's not a dragon lord. lord. Vampire lord. <laughs> he's also a dragon rider. What? Uh, <laughs> there's dragons in this movie. So, Man, I must have fallen asleep too. What? Um. So this movie was actually supposed to set up something. It is. This is and this is Wikipedia. There's still because, time. Um. It is the first installment of the Bonelli Cinematic Universe, a shared universe between movie and television projects by this Bonelli guy. So does he have a TV but, show? But he was setting this thing, and if you get to the end of the movie, it definitely sets up the sequel. Oh, okay. And what we learn is that the vampire is the actual son of Dracula, mm. our classic Dracula, so that we all know and love. Draca, don't yeah, they? Draca, 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 yeah. And um, he he basically they set up the the, the vampire killing adventures of the son of Dracula. Mm-hmm. Okay, what this is and, is Dracula dead? And, and Dracula is not dead. Okay, he's he's a vampire lord, just like the main bad guy is that he actually ends up confronting at the end of this movie mm. but there's multiple vampire lords in this universe i guess and so they're setting up so, this world where he's gonna go out and start doing vampire stuff and things so with the the whole thing with the the three brides mm-hmm. uh in the beginning so when a, a dampier is born they usually just kill it straight away because that's the only yep. creature that can kill a vampire so vampires are usually like and for some reason the i guess there's like a prophecy about a dampier and so the the three brides keep dracula away because they don't trust him Mm -hmm. they think that he's gonna kill the baby so they keep him away and then at the end of the movie he comes back and the the brides are like we think he's the one and and dracula's like you know chip off the old block and now now it will begin and then credits roll Hmm. so there you go spoiler so what would you guys do to improve this movie? How would you make it better? Because we all kind of like, oh, it's a freaking mm. dollar bin Netflix movie. What would you do? <laughs> That's dollar exactly bin it. Netflix movie. That's exactly Spot what on. That's perfect. <laughs> I don't know. What would you do to improve it? I don't like, know. what would you do to call it, you know, make it into like a, oh, this is a freaking rad little cult classic. Thing. I'd throw about 15 more, 15 million more euros at it. <laughs> <laughs> really? You think no. it looked cheap? No, I don't. I don't think it looked cheap it, at all. No. I think it looked good. I just, think they could have gotten better actors. Yeah, I think they had a limited number of cast members that were like their friends that they had to use that look, weren't believable at all. The main of, bad guy right. was not bad <laughs> or anything. Got a, okay. got a lot of community theater guys in this movie, I think. Okay. So. Community theater. That's, that's rough. Sorry to the community theater <laughs> people out there. <laughs> well, you know, community theater people are mostly, you know, just hobbyists. Uh, they're, they're drama kids from high school who still need people to hang out with. So we'll go to the and do Romeo Just and keep Juliet. I've <laughs> done <Whatever. community. laughs> I have am, I, am, I, am I wrong? <laughs> oh, and then the next level is starting a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you right. fail at that, you start a podcast about movies <laughs> that you can't act in. Um, I thought this movie was paced very poorly. Okay. Like, like there was a lot yeah. of stuff. That's why where, you fell asleep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I mean, like there was a lot of stuff where the movie would, you know, Hit a lot of action and then it would slow down for like a very long period and a lot of the like there were too many characters like you really didn't i mean you got to know like the core characters mm-hmm. but there was like a lot of like side characters that would show up and you just didn't care about them and so like i, I feel like this movie could have been far more streamlined mm. as opposed to like how it was which was very unevenly paced and kind of boring and long parts of it in my opinion at the beginning when he starts fighting the actual vampires there's like sort of a vampire gang and mm-hmm. this girl is in the gang. Tesla. And that Tesla. And then the main bad vampire leaves her there for them for them to kill. And and then she just like starts working with them and shows them how to kill him. I'm like, yeah. Why did he do that? Well, that made no well, sense well, to the story. No, she, she was under his command to basically sit there and keep an eye on this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, so like he was like um, because and he like telepathically spoke to her. Yeah, right? yeah. Because he yeah. he sired her, he, like he had control over her, and he could like see what she, she saw and hear what she heard. And so uh, she was his eyes and ears as he mm-hmm. like learned more about who this like Dampier was. 
So there was a very specific reason why he made her stick around, but, you know, she was constantly in danger, like basically getting killed by these guys. And then eventually she kind of like fell in love with vampire, like whatever. They had like some type of romantic connection and she decided to side with them um, uh, against uh, her sire. So it was a uh, very tropey, very typical. Yeah. It was just really confusing because like, had he not left her there, she's the one that showed them how to kill him or how to like, start defending their, themselves against him. Yeah. Had he not left her there, they just would have died. She just couldn't Story handle... Story wrapped up. Couldn't just, handle the was, swag. If he was controlling her brain, <laughs> how come he's not still controlling her brain? After he she betrays them, basically? Yeah, during and after. Yeah. How is she able to betray him? The power of love. Him? The power of love. It's the power it's the of swag. love. It's that dick. Yeah. <laughs> that damn pure dick. That damn pure dick. Yeah. Damn pure dick. Hashtag. Hashtag, Hashtag damn that dick. dick has superpowers. <laughs> that's a deep cut. We haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> damn pure dick. Damn pure dick. Yeah, that's uh, it, it negates need, control. I need, uh, I need bourbon too. I need bourbon. It's about that time. We're, if we're if we're we're doing this old school, we <laughs> we're bourbon. doing this old school, man. We need to have some fun. <laughs> Um, well, let's do final thoughts and, uh, around the table, I guess we're going to, I'm going to probably write this on critic list, uh, but I will watch it again. I'm going to watch it again because I feel like if I write it now, just based off my memory from like three weeks ago, it's not going to be fair. Um, but Vader or shit Dutch, <laughs> um, <laughs> you can still call me V. No, nah, I don't want to, <laughs> right. uh, what's your rating for this one? This thing's all over the place, right? Just, it's just all over the place. There's some fun parts of this movie. There's it's some, comedy. It's there's, there's some parts of this movie where you're like going, oh, uh, that was terrible. I didn't rate it yet. But uh, it, I did manage to watch this movie in one sitting, which is rare anymore. And it's mm. only an hour and 49 minutes long, which is just on the edge of being too long. <laughs> but, it's, but, you know, you cut the credits off and they, I think they get into that doable range. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it wasn't a super long time investment. It wasn't a great movie. It was all over the place. Um, I would have recast uh, Antonio Banderas mm. as the mm. bad guy for the leader of the That's Baltics. That's too Because he could have done a, you know, a, a, an accent. He could have been a good Baltic, whatever the fuck they call those guys. <laughs> think so? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I just, I just need to see Antonio in something cool. It's been a while. It's been a while. He was a bad guy in like, Uncharted. I mean, look, look at this picture. Doesn't he look like Antonio Banderas in that picture right there? Bit. Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. He's like sixty now, isn't he? He's getting you know, up there. And, yeah. and and the uh, the chick, they they could have given her a good haircut. Yeah, her hair sucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't like the M M&M and M cut? No, I don't need the slim shady. <laughs> Guess who? She looked back. like she was on her way to a wicka, rap wicka, battle. Wicka, wicka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, uh, no, uh, two stars. Two? Okay, that's yeah. not bad. It's not I mean, it's if you like vampire movies, okay. <laughs> Check it out. Watch it. It's fun. Yeah. People die. There's some good special effects in this movie. It's not great. But okay. Two stars. Dude. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Uh, at best, it's like one of those so bad it's funny. Okay. Uh, it's not good. But it's not like a, a movie that's like so bad you're like pissed off that you wasted your time. It's fine. Eh, it's about two damn pierres two. out of five. Okay. Cash? Yeah, I'm right there with everyone else, I think. Like it's not an incompetent film, right? Like it's decently written. It's well shot. You know, it's just, it's, it's a foreign film essentially. Yeah. Um, it could have been better. It was just a very forgettable kind of mediocre movie. So like it's right in that two star range for me. Yep. I'm, I'm right on there with you guys. Again, I'm going to watch it again just to make sure, but where it stands right don't, now, don't. I'm sitting at two. You don't have to watch it. I might as well. Speaking of foreign movies, yes, uh, I had something funny happen the other day. Did I was you? scrolling through Tubi and I went, oh, "That's me!" Nice. <laughs> and I found like a bunch of movies that I've done the dubbing for. Nice. Yeah. How does it sound? Uh, it sounds pretty good. Once you send their your files over, they just they do their they own master thing, right? it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I uh, like screen recorded some of it on the TV and I sent it to my dad. And he was like, oh, cool. And my mom was like, is that you? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'm acting, mom. <laughs> That's fantastic. Nice. Thanks. I popped you. Jude actually overdubs a lot of German films. So. Do everything. German, Italian, French, um, you could German, you Spanish. German Scheisse movies. Are we going to review? I have one. It's called Against Their Will. It was oh, the first, first movie I dubbed. 
Nice. nice. <laughs> are we gonna are we gonna do a Jude movie? Can we do a Jude movie for the podcast? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we can, but you won't like them. They're all very foreign movies. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're extremely foreign. Yeah. Right. <laughs> on Tubi. On Tubi. Yeah, on, I'm on Tubi. If people want to see those, how do they find your movie specifically on Tubi? Um, I've been posting on social media, uh, so if you follow me on on Instagram. Uh, whenever I find one, I'm usually like, oh, okay. here's a movie that's on Tubi and cool. I'm in it. Discord. Discord. I think it'd be fun to do like a um, Netflix roulette thing where like we just pick a random movie on <gasps> Netflix. and that's that's dangerous. Review. Didn't we just do that with this? Yeah, we got it. No, <laughs> Vader chose or Butters chose this Yeah, the, the trailer's great for this movie. Yeah, trailers are always so usually I just like, than the oh, Empire is cool trailer. trailer's really good for Dune too. Also. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She <laughs> hates that movie. <laughs> Fucking Zendaya and resting bitch face to the whole thing. <laughs> I'm mad at my boyfriend. Oh, man. I hate everybody. <laughs> fuck you, Lisan Satterak. Who the fuck you doing this? Lisan Al Gaib. Yeah. Lisa Al Gaib. Lisan Satterak. Lisa Satterak? Who? Lisa, get a Lisa Satterak. That sounds like a mid level economy car. <laughs> you know, my girl. Yeah, this, is my girl. this is my girlfriend, Lisa Satterak. So. Hi, I'm Lisa. <laughs> I had to change my name on YouTube back to Juju because I was commenting. I'm obsessed with this trial that's going on right now. Oh, the and I, <laughs> What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I've been commenting in the comments on this, like, fucking legal <laughs> shit. And, so, and they kept bringing up my comments. And I was like, oh, shit, I really need to change that back. Pussy in bio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I keep looking on your link and there's no pussy in your bio. <laughs> You're a lying bitch. <laughs> no, it's, it's back to Juju. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. What, no pussy? We're... <laughs> no no this bio? Shit's, this shit's a liar. <laughs> Damn. Say Lisa right. Sadrak. No, <laughs> what? Should change your name to Lisa Sadrak. <laughs> there we are. We're back. We're All back. Right. We're back. <laughs> Guess who's back? Good deal. All right, guys. That's it for Dempire. Go uh, the Dempire. The Dempire. A Spanish says Dempire. 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 In Draculia. <laughs> so that's gonna do that. Scott Bakula. Scott Bakula. Scott Bakula. <laughs> Scott Bakula? That's from like three years ago when Alex didn't know who Scott Bakula was. He I kept am... saying Scott Bakula. The Bakula. <laughs> Count, Count Bakula. Count Bakula. <laughs> and my damn Peter son. Oh, shit. You know uh, what we did in the shadows made a joke out of that. They did the same thing, yeah. yeah. Where, where I think Scott Bakula kept, uh, <laughs> like, like, like they kept calling him up for their vampire council meetings. Yeah. And he's like, they I don't know why you. I'm here. <laughs> He's like, because you're a bakula. bakula. <laughs> I'm not a vampire. <laughs> but, but, what's your last name? Bakula. Bakula. <laughs> Love it. All right, guys, that's it for the podcast. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week. We're going to have a lot of fun talking about some random ass movies. And we'll look for August Bites coming around the corner. Mm -hmm. We've got a whole month of August Bites. We've got shark movies, vampire movies, oh, all man. kinds of stuff. And uh, we're probably going to do a July Van Damme. Yes. Episode. Oh, we do oh, need to do that before I the I sent end. you that that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, June Claude Van Damme's back on. Jean Claude. Yeah. July. June Claude Van Damme. We found a movie that has Jean Claude and The Mountain. And who else was in it? I can't remember. Uh, a lot it, of people. It, yeah. 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 Okay. And it looks real bad. Next week. <laughs> Nice. All right, folks. We'll see you next week for June Claude Van Damme. Hey, folks. Thanks so much for watching this live stream. If you want to watch our previous live stream, make sure to click right here. Or if you would like to check out one of our favorite highlights, click right here.